In April of 1789, the United States celebrated the inauguration of its first president with fireworks displays in New York Harbor. The city of New York was then the capital of the United States. In April of 1989, when the United States celebrated 200 years of the presidency, the skies over New York Harbor once again flashed with fireworks. The weather was cloudy and the fireworks were obscured. Some observers were disappointed. Others were reminded of the conditions in the country for that first inauguration, when the new country's bright new possibilities were almost obscured by the difficulties that surrounded it. When the federal building in New York City housed the new government, the country had just been through the turbulence of a revolution. Today, the buildings in that part of New York City are skyscrapers and are centers of financial power and worldwide communication for American business. In 1789, American industry was small and struggling. The new country was divided by bitter factionalism and was likely to be pulled into the wars then raging between the great powers of Europe. In 1989, in ceremonies commemorating the bicentennial of the presidency, President George Bush reminded his audience that the first president, George Washington, was hesitant to take the job. Who wouldn't have felt some trepidation undertaking a task which had never been tried in the world's history. What was new and unique was the job of an elected civilian chief executive. George Washington, who had served as commander of a victorious revolutionary army and as chairman of the convention which wrote the United States Constitution, brought to the office an excellent reputation and an air of authority. He took the simple oath with his hand on a Bible. I do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of the President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. Actor William Summerfield played the part of George Washington for the inaugural reenactment. Washington served two terms as president. During that time, he appointed the first cabinet officers, taking care to choose equally among political factions. He put the struggling country on a firm financial footing. The care he took in establishing the office of the president has helped Ladies it to last for more than 200 years. The 1989 ceremonies ended just as the 1789 ceremonies had ended, with a parade.